just how I'm presenting this body of work to you is is timeless. Mm. I'm trying to take a timeless approach. That's why I don't really make a lot of trendy rap. And it is taking longer for me to be recognized because it's like, I'm trying to be here. Mm. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be yeah. here today and going tomorrow. I started rapping when I was three. Mm. Like this is, this is, oh, this is my only option. This is how I feel in my life. Like I don't, I don't see nothing else. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Ah, man. Let's get it popping, man. What's popping, everybody? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We here. Uh, special guest in the building. Yeah. Kai Cash is here. Yeah, yeah. Yo, we supposed to been doing something so long ago, and then we supposed to do something like a year ago. That's a fact. Just full circle. Godspeed. You know, Facts. They didn't even know about time. the freestyle that I was talking about. I had no idea, but... Yeah. That Everything was happens back, for a reason. Yeah, in fact, yeah. that was back when the whole, and I got to be careful with this because I know y'all still fam, yeah. but this was back when the whole CYM movement was like like crazy. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a lot It was a lot more unified. I think as we got older, it's just like everybody got their own personal life. Mm. So it's like we can't be together as much, but when we come together, we still come together. Right. Boss. But that's, no, that's, that's, good. That's, that's pretty much how it is, really. Is, is, the, is the mic in his in blocking his face, MJ? No, all right, yeah. yeah. So it's crazy. Like, how how is that movement going right now? Like, are y'all just like everybody, you know, like doing their own thing and mm -hmm. like they just like big in their own perspective? Pause. Yeah. Even like <laughs> I gotta be careful. What's about to be? <laughs> no, it is crazy. what it is. <laughs> we can't have a regular conversation at this. Point. Nah, all right, let's be grown. Let's be adults. Come on, we don't got to do that. I'm still going probably. Yeah, I'm gonna do it too. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie, man. I'm, I'm definitely. Too. I'm probably still. But yeah, so like, is everybody like basically like in their own solo career right now, just focusing on on that solo thing? Yeah, that's for the for the most part. That's how we started off. But we used to be together a lot, like. The way CYN started, we spent most of our summers together. Our parents made sure we spent most of our summers together from 2009 till probably, I ain't gonna lie, till, to, to this day, we spent right. a lot of our summers together. So as we got older it's, and everybody started to make music, everybody was doing their own thing because we mm -hmm. all lived in different places. Summertime is where we lived together, basically. Right. But when it's, it's in school and doing all that extra shit, Everybody's having their own career. So really right now, it's just a lot more amplified. Mm -hmm. We adults now. We know how to, you know, move differently. And it's more graceful. But, yeah, for the most part, everybody's just Let doing their own thing. And then we come back. It's like, okay, camaraderie. Yeah. Let me ask you this then. You been in the A, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is most of the, the guys in, in New York still? or It's only really two two of them in New York right now. So it was three of y'all? Or... In New York? It used the to group, be the CYN. It's mob. seven of us. Seven of y'all. Yeah. So, well, uh, you've been in the A, right? Yeah. I'm just curious, and, and that that not being like a focus, like it used to be, right? Yeah. Do you see the impact of your career? Like, do people treat you differently now because you're not around uh, King mm -hmm. and the other guys? Nah, not really, because even through the process of coming up with the whole CYN, like, I've always made sure I've built my relationships with people on my own. Like, mm. I might have met so-and-so through the whole CYN thing, but it's like, as long as I continue to build my relationship with this person, I know that it's, it's really no room to treat me like, oh, I can only rock with you when you with this person and that person, because that ain't really how nothing works. I feel like if, if I'm a genuine person, if we're going to be, if we're going to be cool, we're going to be cool in real time. Like, mm -hmm. we don't, we ain't got to do... Yeah, I feel like that's not how the industry industry works though. Sadly, it's not. But that's what I'm asking. But even even then, like by by industry stand, I don't like industry standards either. But it's like whoever I'm not, if 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 it is some people that treat me that way, like oh you not with this person or that person, cool. I will keep you where you at. Like I don't. Right. And when you see me and I'm with so on and so forth, don't try. Come don't in. yeah, it's cool. I'm cool off you. You just Stay keep the there. same energy. Don't yeah. don't call me to ask for a favor. I'm. 
I'm straight off all that. Does it make it hard to maneuver in, like, especially on a on a come up? Does uh, that make it hard to maneuver in the industry? Because a lot of times, yeah, we gotta like, especially young dudes like us, we gotta. One thing I had to learn, and you know, I'm still learning to keep it hundred is mm. like. Everything don't have to be personal. It's a business. We don't yeah. have to like everybody. Everybody don't have yeah. to like you when you got to conduct Thanks. it like that. Does it make it being so genuine and only rocking with like who really rock with you? Does it make it hard to maneuver the industry coming up, especially coming up? In the beginning, I feel like more so it was because I wasn't I wasn't privy to what the situation was like. Mm. I'm already a, a quiet type. Of so for the most part, I'm not really like a socialite. I don't go out my way to talk. So I feel like if we in the same room, of course, there's respect. I'm going to say what's up to you because we've been in this room for so long together. Right. Why not speak to you? But. Other than that, it's just like I treat I treat the whole industry thing like how I treat real life. Like I could be in a I could be walking around, I won't probably say nothing to nobody. I might seem standoffish. Mm. But in real time it's just me being myself cuz I feel like I'd rather not expect nobody to be no type of way. No, fuck. And I feel like for me that's been like a a a good thing because I'm already that way in real time. So for the industry it's like Sometimes it's more of a curse because you know you don't want to block blessings or any room you, any room you go into you're supposed to yo yeah. work the room this that and the third. Sometimes I don't be know how to work the room. The way I work the room is yeah. I'm sitting here, I'm observing, and then when it's time for me to to do what I do, when it's time for me to rap. Everybody, we all tapped in now because right. that's how I want to show everybody for the most part. I'm kind of getting out of it now that I'm older and I understand understand the industry a little bit more. But I don't think it makes it harder. I think it's just like. Now I kind of know how to maneuver through it a little bit mm. better. You know, it's crazy because, like, as much as, like, even, like, when I was coming up, just talking about that energy. Because at one point in time, the the, word, the energy word was, like, a yeah. big fad, right? <laughs> and I used to laugh at it. But, like, yeah. as I'm getting older, I'm understanding that it's real. Because, like, you could be in the room. You don't have to work the room. And the, the right energy is always going to present itself with the right people. Exactly. Like, you're always going to be connected with the right people, that people that you're supposed to be connected with. Mm. That's one thing I I, I, at least, I, I honestly uh, had to find out because a yeah. lot of times I'd be like, man, I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? And like, I ain't really trying to network. But, exactly like, it's never – was meant for you never going to miss you. A hundred percent, bro. And So another reason why I asked you that is because I was looking at on iTunes. Yeah. A lot of this is around that time, though. Yeah. So is See, that book, for sure? But even like this, I'm looking for you. I, you dropped the single not too long ago. Yeah, I, I got like two projects out. But when I put them, so when I put in Kai Cash, I yeah. seen the West is the, big, the, the West, the biggest, the, my biggest songs. Okay. The West came out in 2018, so that's probably what you see in first. Yeah, then the Chris Brown, sh- Chris Brown, that was 2020, and then from there Helen Keller with Trail and all that extra sh- like 21 and so forth. Like yeah, because I'm looking like yo, what what's going on? Yeah, with that's that's one of my biggest problems too. Like I like to. I'm I'm big on quality, mm. so it's like I'll take my time with releasing some joints. You feel me? Like I will really like I'll let marinate for a minute mm. just to make sure when I want to get my point across, I'm doing it in the best way I feel like I can do it. Granted, there's no right or wrong way to do nothing in the in the industry at all, mm. in my honest opinion. But I just like to let sit for a while. Let me figure it out how I want to figure it out. And then we put it out there. It's a gift and a curse, but... I was going to ask, cause like, like, the industry, the world, just mm-hmm. in general, is like we living in this, like, microwave era, right? Like, the entire era is just yeah, like, we man. want things. So, like, with you being, like, this perfectionist, for lack of better yeah. words, what I, what I hear you saying, mm-hmm. you being this perfectionist, sometimes you letting things marinate. Sometimes you can get lost in the sauce, right? Yeah. Like, it's like, in this microwave yeah. era when it's like, we need, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. Right, you could, you could kind of like lose relevancy and we yeah. all chasing relevancy. Like, That's a fact. How do you deal with and that? And even that, now I'm kind of getting better with that. So now I'm in a system where I'm about to start dropping a song every month mm. just to stay in people's faces and then just carry it into 2024. But you do get lost in translation because a lot of the times, as, as creatives in general, you just overthink so much. Mm. And that's where I be at with myself sometimes. Like, I'll be overthinking some shit that could have came out two, three years ago. And it's just like, nah, I'm waiting to put it on this project. Or I'm waiting for this moment to occur. And it's just like, that moment could not ever happen. Mm, no, you can make more of a moment if you do this shit today. Mm. And I've had people in my ear for years kind of telling me that. And it's just me being the stubborn person that I am. I just be like, yeah, yeah, I feel you, but. Nah, no, but now I'm kind of just getting back into the swing of things because I'm tired of being, you know, lost in translation with this shit. Like, or even like just overlook the slept on to be that too. Hunting, keep it a hundred. That like. too, because it's like I feel like I'm better than everybody. So it's like for me to be overlooked at such a high capacity, it's like all right. Yeah. I know what I gotta do because 
know who I am. It's not hard for me to be discovered. Yeah. It's just like you're not putting your best foot forward right now because you want to just chill and wait and think. And this shit is, like you said, it's microwavable. It's quantity. It's real quantitative right now. That's a, that's a fact. Yeah. What used to be like quality over quantity. Yep. Now it's like, now it's like nah, that, that verse. Nigga, <laughs> like, record a song on your f- Because you know what happened? It's iPad. Just, it's just like it's just like uh, social media. They like mm-hmm. the more you post, the more you get caught up in an algorithm. The the better chance you going viral. Yep. These these companies, these record labels, they trying to get their money. They it's trying to get that money back. Yeah. So it's like, bro, I need you to drop, 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 because the better chance, the money I you gave got more you, people coming in. Yeah, the better chance of me recouping yep. my money is you dropping these songs. It might yeah. go viral. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you got to play the game now, man. It's annoying, but it is what it is. Speaking of wait, are are you signed to Generation L? It's coming, man. You know, we've been, work, I've been working with Generation Now. Shout out to GN. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working with Generation Now, man. So it's it's basically... How long have you been working with them? Really? A few months now. How, like, it ain't I, been that long. I feel like you've been working in that studio for a minute, no? It's, it's only been a few months. Literally. It's probably been like seven, eight months. All right, that's what I mean. That's, mm-hmm. that's a little... It's not even a full pregnancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking it's, of... It's a little bit of time. I ain't gonna lie. Speaking of pregnancy... <laughs> That shit is long, bro. I thought pregnancy was nine months. Who, why, why ain't nobody tell me that was really 10 months? Like, pregnancy is damn near a year. I, I didn't know that. No cap. You just put me on this. Full term is 40 months. I mean, 40 weeks. That's 10 months. 40 months. No, that's crazy. crazy. That's Yo, outrageous. full term is 40 weeks. That's uh, 10 months. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't either. So now, like, I never knew that until right going now. Going to the doctors, they keep saying, oh, no, nah, you're not dilated. Like, my fiance. You fiance. No, my fiance. You said I was pregnant? No, no, I'm saying you expected like oh. <laughs> no <laughs> why the fuck? Yes. I thought you said when well, you was pregnant? Wait, what? <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Congratulations. Nah. Nah, I appreciate that, it, brother. Yeah. So I mean seven months. So what's taking them so long? Just paperwork, really. Bro, I don't take nothing to print this I make sure this is right. <laughs> I make sure this shit I make sure man, this what, what's the shit you be sure looking for? Right, man. Cause it's crazy because like you know? when you coming up, man, it's like so yeah. many be like, man, I want a deal. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like so many also be like, man, you don't need that this, that, and the third. But I feel like we all, it's fickle because when you independent, it's it's a it's still a goal mm. to have some type of support. Yeah, whether it's a major label, whether it's a silent partner. Right. You feel me? Everybody still wants that support. That it just helps bring the ideas to life a lot easier and i feel like the independent term is used very loosely like Facts. don't get me wrong it's a lot of people that are independent but a lot of these independent is either having distro deals yeah they're going through a epic deal, or maybe you feel me it's like or maybe they got a silent partner that nobody knows about so you yeah. can jack independence but at the you really not like what these kids don't know behind the scenes is like yeah you might have started off like dolo you had your team y'all got to this point where you're the biggest person ever but it's somebody in that back like, pocket like yo yeah, and, and it's nothing wrong nothing, with it. I was about it. to it's say that, like, because you all need a team. They say it take a village to raise. Hell a, yeah, uh, you can't do this by so, yourself. Facts, like, and that's that's what I'm saying because like a lot of things, I feel like, man, all this is just smoking mirrors, bro. Yeah. Like, it's just like the, the entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. Everybody entrepreneur until it's time to pay or take on the expenses that and do business. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like the independent, like it's, I feel like it's a new fad. Like everybody running around like the independent, but like yeah. bro, you got a distro or some Facts. going on with Epic when they got it's, the bag. And it's 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 a, I think it's like it's a it's great to be independent, but at the same time, before we knew what independence was, and was rapping and wanting to be rappers and stars, the one of the biggest goals was, I want to get signed. that deal. <laughs> yeah, like I want to be signed. Granted, we're in a better space now where if you build leverage, your terms can be completely different. I've seen an Ice Spice interview where she's like, I own my masters. It's Damn. like you got to that point where they asking for you to, to, to come this way and you need something from them. It's product and service. Mm. You got the product, they're giving you the service. So everybody has to do their job. But it's like if I have this much leverage and I want this and I'll give you that, sometimes they'll be willing to work with that. And then you see a young thug interview where he was like, I knew my deal was up, but I knew I had a plan. Facts. Exactly. So it's like. It's 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 everything in life is. No, nah, I think you the, make the baby said the same thing. He was like, he got two hundred for his first deal when he dropped Shug. You feel he me? Like man, it was really just that two hundred changed his whole life. Exactly. It's really what you do in a situation, and that's what everything in life. I don't even think it's just some music. Shit. I think it's like if you get presented an opportunity, how are you gonna max out on this opportunity? Facts. You could get it and just 
But what's she yeah. looking for now? I guess like, I, like what would you what would you be looking for at this stage of your career? Really, just like I said, product and services. I'm giving out a product. I want I want help with a service that I know it'll probably take me a lot more time and and effort to do. Not saying that I'm lazy and I don't want to do it at all, but I know if these people are invested in me and I'm invested in them for one, that's a partnership, and we can combine like terms mm -hmm. on some shit where it's just like, I got this. Can y'all pitch to these people right here? Let's set up these five interviews. Let's make sure we get 15 videos done. More Let's so make marketing. Sure it's marketing. It's promotions. It's because as an artist, sometimes our best ideas is what we put on wax. Mm -hmm. And we'll be stuck in that because it's like, yeah, I gave a great idea. And there's some artists that are like, creatively visually wow. introspective or not just on sonics it's just like i know what i want to do for everything but everybody don't have that Fact. that ability to do that so sometimes you need teams and even if it's if it's an independent team or a hustler you know from the streets that's like i believe in you and i'm giving you whatever yeah. you need to get this done that's still it's kind of like a label it's just no, not as fine. much business you feel me but it's crazy because um I mean, like you're right, and I think the marketing aspect of anything, podcasting, yeah. music, I think that's like the one of the hardest parts to really tap into, yeah. unless you got a big bag. Mm -hmm. So, like, I mean, everybody want to keep some of this independence, like, yeah, that that that. Label. If you can do it, then then do it. But even when you got moments like, say, go viral, and then they got that one song because they went viral by accident or they wasn't expecting it, it's like, can you reproduce that? Can you reproduce sometimes? You might get into a label situation and they might have another record for you. They might bring you into a room with a bunch of writers and producers that can help you bring your career to or life put a little that bit bag more. Behind or, something that you do have. Because exactly. it you ain't going viral all the like you might go viral like maybe let's say realistically, right? Let's say once every ninety days, right? Yeah. But that's too that's too late to try to follow up. Yeah. Right? Like the label can really when you go viral, if you go viral on your own, yeah. they can really put the money behind your second song exactly. to make to, to force push that to the go. first. Yeah. Exactly. And then to force the second viral. You feel me? Like it's really just numbers. It's bro. just a way, yeah. It's numbers and it's just, it's just everybody's mindset. I don't knock nobody that's jacking independence and that is independent because they making it work. I don't jack I don't I don't I don't fault nobody for signing and making the, the deals work. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the morning meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. Mm, like, Yo, you're doing like what? You like like mid 200 range of like 200 like, thousand streams a, a month? Spotify is like 215, two, 210 to 215 now. I don't know. I never know what Apple is. Cause you know Apple hey, don't, don't show have you that. Shit, Apple yeah. don't show that. I I fuck with Apple for that though. I feel like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like visible numbers fucked up a lot it of can. shit. It can because if it's not a lot, right? Yeah. Nigga could turn turn that back oh on you whole gosh. time. It's like, bro, you and it's and it's and it's like a that shit is just not for everybody to see. Analytics back business. in the day is like, why are you? Why can I go on Spotify and see? How many streams that this nigga got on this on his biggest song, and then I can see how many streams he got on his lowest. Yeah, what the? That's not. That's invasive as hell. That's mad. Like, come yeah. on, but this is what niggas say when you sign up for them services and you're yeah. not reading them that's terms like and crazy. conditions like would, threads. See me facts. <laughs> you, you, you got threads? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even delete the whole 360. <laughs> I ain't even know until it was right, too they late. Say you delete this. You got to delete, delete this. Delete this. Your grandma's gone. Like, Shit. What nigga? But I ain't gonna lie to you. Threads. 
they played a trick on niggas. Yeah. Not me. I called it, bro, because nothing funny. ain't messing with Twitter, bro. It's they funny. kept talking yeah. shit like, man, this shit so good. Twitter wildin' too, though. That nigga Elon changed that Twitter shit to X. Is, yeah, facts. But Twitter <laughs> ain't going though. With Twitter, it's it just, ain't. It's, it's because it's Twitter, you get your, you can get your really get your shit off. I feel like on Instagram is a bunch of like smoke and mirrors, just yeah, blowing it is. Smoke. It's, it's, it's a, it's a hell of illusions. Facts. Twitter is like niggas. It's real I'm life. It's real about. time. It's real thoughts. Facts. It's porn for the freaky niggas. <laughs> it's music. <laughs> it's it's art. It's like it's a big ass hub. No, nah, Twitter but that got the best porn though. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I hear that shit all the time. Now they do. He said, I hear that shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, you full of shit. <laughs> you see how he drives it? No, I hear that all the time. I ain't never seen him. I, I ain't never always seen hear that. that shit. I hear that shit all the time, though, man. But no, so back to the streams. Like, I only asked that because I was wondering, because I got a friend that make music or whatever, and he yeah. actually told me about how to, you can see the streams and mm-hmm. shit like that. And I was like, I was just wondering, like, how, what gets you to 200? Plus, I know it might not be a lot to you. You probably still calling, but that's that's a major milestone. You wanna know it's crazy? I had a. I'm happy to say that I've had a moment where last last year, probably like five six months ago, I reached five hundred thousand monthly listeners. Damn! Like half a mil to me is like that's crazy. Oh, these niggas is tuned in right now. Yeah, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. That's what I'm saying. I was happy to have received that just to see what it looks like and, and feel what it feels like. I'm not mad at no number. Anybody that's listening to me, I, I'm appreciative. Right. But um, really, it's just. For me, mm-hmm. being that I'm not super consistent, I'm consistent, but it's the quality, and it's the quality of mixes, it's the quality of what I'm talking about, it's the quality of just how I'm presenting this body of work to you is is timeless. Mm. I'm trying to take a timeless approach. That's why I don't really make a lot of trendy rap, and it is taking longer for me to be recognized because it's like, I'm trying to be here. Mm. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be yeah. here today and going tomorrow. I started rapping when I was three. Like this is this is oh this is my only option. This is how I feel in my life. Like I don't I don't see nothing else. No, that makes sense. So let me ask you this: Do you think? I mean, of course not. Do you think? I, I mean, I would assume that some of your huge you got some huge features. Yeah, man. That has to play a part in it. Do you yeah, tell an artist? Hell yeah. Do you tell an artist to even if you didn't pay for these features? Do mm. you tell the artist that's trying to come up stack up and get some of them features because it's going to add to that? Not really no more because the game is so different. I feel like the way you get them, if you can get them features, by all means, go get every last one of them. Mm-hmm. But I feel like now we're in a space where it's like you get lit and it's these 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 lit niggas is just tapping in with you now. They're going to jump on your song by default. But it's you hard even, to get lit. We say that so loosely. It, it, you right. But at the same time, it's just like it's a new nigga every day getting lit. Yeah. Granted, it's a it's a market that's it's the billions and millions of people, and it's only one or two people getting lit every other day. But it's like it's kind of difficult to get these features. Yeah. Because if you if you not really lit or you not on nobody radar, you gotta pay that. You gotta spend that bag. Yeah, niggas want niggas. The way I was able to to kind of be blessed to get the features that I have, Pusha T was he was uh like a fan of the freestyle i used to do freestyles on my around the same time that you was that's you what i'm saying that's why the, people put me on uh, you, you feel me i used to do free, around that time like i was 20, doing 17 freestyle, yeah i was doing freestyles every friday so Pusha t would be one of the people one of the lit people that would comment on my on my shit every time i drop a freestyle mm. so i got to a point in time when i'm reaching out like trying to see what we can get can get done and then my pops already knew push but i'm trying to use i'm trying to use what he's fucking with me for already to right. to build that relationship yeah Yo, Pops, can you also make sure you reach out on this end so we can make it happen a little bit faster? I sent, he was like, let's do something. Mm. I sent the shit to Push immediately. He sent me his verse. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna get this verse back this fast. He sent me my verse back in no later than a day. Damn. And he walked it down. He walked it down so bad. I had to do a second verse. I ain't gonna lie. That's I did a second crazy. verse after because it was, it was initially supposed to be only two verses on the song. But I heard his verse. I said, God. I mean, but it's push though. You mean it's push, but and I had initially changed my first verse, but he 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 hit me. He was like, "Nah, like the only reason why I was able to come off pause the way that I did is because you approached the record how you approached it." Okay, so keep. Yeah, it's a compliment. You feel me? Like, yeah, he was like, "Nah, just keep." But I wanted to now hear him push. I'm like, I need to do some lyrical shit. Nah, nah, nah. And he's like, "Nah, that's kind of that's yeah. kind of gonna fuck up the whole vibe of what's going that on." Makes sense. You want to skip? Wait, a bitch. let me let me let me let me let me toss a uh, curveball to you. Yeah. Since you talk about push, yeah, you see him in the Jim Jones, yeah. shit, right? The capo <laughs> shit. What shit you think about that, bro? Me. 
If we talking just rap, what we what you just think? rap? I feel like Jim would he Jim did what he needed to do because on some we all know Jim is not like so you know it's not he's not a nigga that you're gonna go to for super heavy yeah bar, but he but sound good he going that's what I'm saying like Jim Jim held his own yeah, on that motherfucker said, like you on a block in Harlem you on some fly shit you talking your talk you yeah. doing what Jim Jones do Pusha T is the nigga we gonna look to for super metaphors and similes yeah. and cocaine talk and Jim he, he he touching he touching touching nerves like he talking about cracking your brother and doing all that it's like god damn y'all but that's the that's the sport of hip hop yeah. and I'm happy to see that they were able to take it there and keep it there but I don't think it's crazy because now niggas probably hate me for this take I f- so like I'm I'm borderline because I like yeah. the freestyle yeah. for sure from Jim uh-huh. but part of me because he's so much older yeah ain't want to like it was that unnecessary <laughs> yeah i ain't like i ain't want cuz he talking like a bunch of drugs shit like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like <sighs> it's 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 that it's that it you know you know what the craziest thing is about that right i feel like a lot of consumers have been complaining about the fact that rap ain't been as competitive it's been more of a sassy like ego thing lately yeah, like flex, niggas want to just be mad at each other emotional and not take it to wax i feel like jim's approach was nigga i'm a Instead of me being emotional, like he laughed at the shit first yeah. on the gram. He did the from the block shit, some real, the epitome of a New York nigga yeah. doing some New York shit, and he did it his way. So it's like, kudos to Jim for that. Do you, do you think, but do you think it's like, all right, you held your own? Yeah. Let's leave that alone, or you, I definitely you think, think they pushes, do it? I think, think Push is on his way back. He talked about his brother being a, 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 a addict. Yeah. Do you think Jim <laughs> got another one of them in? I don't know. I don't know. We got to just see. I don't know because we got to see what, what pushes is, is, yeah. is coming. You know, Push is a personal nigga when it comes to diss records. Bro, I don't know how to. He get real like, he Facts. be on that shit. That nigga yeah. start <laughs> airing out dirty laundry. It's like, oh, whoa, all right. Facts. So wait, but that I, was your first big one. Pause. That was your first big feature. Ooh, that, that was crazy. crazy. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was insane. That was, that was so intense. That was outrageous, bro. Damn. But um, it's Freaky Friday. <laughs> 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 It's only Thursday. On a Thursday. <laughs> um, the first, the first, the first major feature I got <laughs> was technically it was O three Greedo. Oh, that the was time. the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and okay. that was the biggest record for real. Um, that was the West. It was the West. That yeah, shit, yeah, that shit was. O three Greedo and King Combs, of course. You know that we can't yeah, act like a- Christian ain't a big ass pause. That was crazy. Come on, bro. Yeah, I know what I mean. Artists like hey. he, you know, he's hey. a very you know the, the fuck. He a big yeah. what? Yeah, he's a nah. Hey. Chill. Hey. We got we got, hey. edit, we got hey. that one. Time out. <laughs> that was crazy. Time out. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh man. But then after that, Chris Brown was right after the push your T joint. Damn. And the yeah. way that happened was so ill. I was okay, so at the time I was still in Hampton. So when the West dropped, nigga Well, you was in school. Yes. I'm missing out on all everything. These niggas used to call me from live on Sunday. I gotta wake up for class four in the morning. Niggas is in live. I laid it down. Now she out like a light switch. It got so bad. Nobody knew what I looked like. I can believe that. I'm in school. I'm missing out on Coachella. I'm missing out on all the vibes, bro. I'm in college trying to but finish you ain't this Hampton, shit. Hampton though, they not fucking with you. In Hampton, they was fucking with me, but what the fuck? I don't. It's happening. You can Hampton perform at homecoming going crazy. Hampton compared to being at Coachella one Hampton, week and live yeah. on Sunday the next week and really collecting my fame how I should have been. Yeah. Granted, I feel like everything happened for a reason. It wasn't the time yet. But it's like, God damn. Yeah. But yeah, the Chris Brown shit, my, my boy Ralph, shout out to Ralph. Ralph was tapped in with CB on some like day-to-day shit. Like they just they just cool, playing basketball every day together, doing doing shit. And then Ralph is CYN, so it's just like it's more leverage. Christian is there, Chris Brown, Ralph, everything is tying into to each other. And we had this record, me and K Wells, we had this record called Tank. And it was just me and him initially. And I forgot, I think I sent it to Ralph. You know, I sent it in the chat so niggas could hear it. Ralph is like, yo, he hit me one day randomly, like, yo, this nigga CB loves this tank shit. Mm. Like he keep telling me he wants to get on his record, but I'm at school. So I'm like, Nigga, what the, what the fuck are y'all waiting on? Tell him to get on the record. Facts. So he'll call me again, like a week later, he called me again. Yo, this nigga keeps pressing it. I'm like, yo, bro, stop calling me, man. Yeah, just give him the fuck. Get the song. Yeah. Like, if we're gonna get the song, let's get the song. One night, six in the morning, my pops calls me on FaceTime. You know, LA, three hours back, I wake up, I just hear Chris Brown vocals on the tank joint. I'm like, oh, 
shit. He gave you a, a verse and that nigga was on gave the me like sixty four bars. The nigga was rapping longer than we was. Nah, that shit was hard. That I was, was hard. like, oh shit. And then from then, me and me and CB just been tapped in like. That's one of my good industry friends. Like CB's a good nigga. He's a cool nigga. No, nah, that's why I hear. I hear that a lot though. I hear like yo, and probably Thug probably got some of the craziest yeah. work ethics when it comes to studio shit. Thug work ethic. I see. I I got the chance to be at uh, Future Studio working on some shit before them niggas. They was like, yo, these niggas being here for like twenty hours. Like, but they straight. say the way he even like go to the club, come met, back, or not even that. Like the way he. Manufactures the song How yeah. he does it I never got the chance to, to to. I never even really met Thug I never got the chance To be in like a Thug session Or none of that I seen I've I've got the chance To sit in a future session For a little bit And that nigga He's like a machine And I, I know they're like One and the same But I can't really Test to Thug's process But I seen future shit That nigga His engineer He in that chair He just going like Damn. Niggas just Going crazy Coming mm. up with the the craziest, waviest shit. Like, soon as you hear first, you just like, oh no, nah, this is gonna be crazy when it drop. Nah, that's Them crazy. niggas, they was that's like, crazy. yeah, these niggas being here twenty hours, yo, what's every up? day. What's up with your boy then? Uh, uh, King, King Combs, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, he just dropped something with a three yeah, pack, right? Three pack, yeah. How you feel? Like, how you like? I like yo. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't ever give him his credit because like. I guess a lot of his songs be like remakes, mm -hmm. but I'm fucking with that. I fuck with you. It's a strategy that work. Why not, nigga? If I could get everything I did cleared and, and yeah. make it, <laughs> what? It's a business move but, at the end of the day. Outside of that, and you though, bringing it shit back. be good though. Exactly. I, in my opinion, and, and, I, nah. In all honesty, that too. And then you bring it back. It's so many people that. Cause you think about it, it's usually the older people that understand what his dad did and yeah. know the music. That's like, oh man, we like this kid, but we want to see him. Do something a little different. It's just like it's a formula that's working for him. You can't really knock it because if you if you was in that position, you probably would do the same shit. But and I don't think niggas is sleeping on. But that's why I'm saying I feel like niggas is sleeping on how good it is because yeah. a lot of people try to do the the remixes and the covers and like, but it don't hit. It's natural, man. It comes and from we can't say it's because club. is you know what I'm saying, but because yeah. the shit it's, is good. It's just like uh Koi you know, Everybody, yeah, I fuck with Koi Ray. Shout out to Koi too. Ain't it crazy how that happened though? Niggas was shitting on her. Yeah, I just was. I just had a whole debate. Niggas was it. shitting on her. Look at her. <laughs> yeah, I had a whole debate about how Coyle Ray's success has been like something to to, to pay attention to. Mm, 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 mm. Cause niggas tried to count her out so crazy, so early though. But that's good that you you see that she. I'm gonna stand the test of time. I'm here. Yeah, I mean that gotta be motivation for you. Yeah, kind of. what all of that shit. What every everybody? Cause especially cause I be having personal relationships with a lot of these people. So it's just like everything I see is motivation. Mm. Me being here right now is motivation. Okay, we can't, this ain't, we can't just stop. Yeah. You know, this is, we got this far. I just went from the first, because you got to think about it, right? I dropped my first record on digital platforms in 2018. Mm. The same year, the West dropped. A year later, I got a Pusha T feature. A year after that, I dropped a Chris Brown feature. A year after that, I dropped 7 Eleven, and I just so put Helen Keller in 07 Bent, which is two singles on those, and Helen Keller. Is right now neck and neck with the West. It's about to pass the West. Damn. Shout out to CEO Trail, by the way. Yo. Then 07 Bent, Jordan Poole ends up using that as his fucking song on the gram when he did what 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 was his accolade that he reached? Oh man. I don't even got my phone. Like fact check it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta fact check yeah, it. Yeah, check but it I, I don't even remember, but he used it right in the midst of him just it's niggas understanding who and who who Jordan Poole is. So 07 Bent starts to spark its own light. Then we drop Can We Talk, Me, Dizzy Benko, and Devon Terrell. It's just like, bro, shit has been shit been going up on a, and oh, yeah, yeah. When he won the championship. There oh, we he go. posted it. Oh, when he won the Oh, that's tight. That's Crazy. my bad for not even, you know, I'm yeah. I'm fucking I didn't up. even think about it. They won a championship. Jordan Poole posts 07 Bent. So it's just like, and this is random, bro. Like, but this just shows me like, whatever I'm doing, proceed. Continue mm -hmm. to be as great as you are. Yes, it's gonna take time. Be cons you could be a little bit more consistent, but don't lose the sense of being a quality type of nigga. Like no, I, I stand. I take pride in how much this quality shit is. No, Cause anybody right now it sucks to say anybody right now could drop a song. Look at and I like to listen to to, to stupid shit. One of my favorite songs right now is the fucking Krusty Krabs, uh the nigga Odwin. 
I wouldn't the, know. You know what, what is I'm it? talking about. I wouldn't know. Secret formula. I want to put flavor in. That shit yeah, is so, that shit. that shit is just hard because it's like, <laughs> and he was, and this this kid is a real artist who makes real music, but he got lit off this moment of him just fucking around. And it's just like, y'all niggas going to listen to this and give this all the recognition. And I got hella projects out. And it's y'all another nigga like, that, what was the nigga that, that, um, uh, that Billy I I Eilish song. Uh, uh, I heard uh, like uh, he was. I heard he's a rapper, rapper. Amani White. Yeah, I heard like I, I don't have no idea, but I heard he could like really rap and like some of his, like good? somebody was telling I me. Really t- somebody t- say t- somebody t- was t- telling me like they didn't like they they hated that he went that route because he makes like real. Sometimes look at look at Doja Cat. I just had this conversation too. Bitch, I'm a cow. That's how we learned who Doja Cat was, and then when when we finally accepted, okay, let's see what she got. She. Came with Man, some shit. It's, it's crazy because it's, now I think about it. You probably Capella Gray, Capella Gray, another one. He like was super like talented. Right, he's been sh- talented. I've known Capella for years. Then he just dropped some trendy type. That nigga dropped Gallus, and it was just like, and it's like, yo, that's probably me? not even. My I best dropped shit. a joint with Capella right after. Can we talk? I dropped round and round. Like mm. it's just so. I ain't gonna lie. God don't play about me, bro. Like I, I really stand in and on that. Like mm. I feel like I, I affirm that. I manifest that, and I'm gonna continue to live in that. That shit, the way shit works out for me, it's like it's supposed to happen. Like how you said, like the the, the shit in 2018, it, maybe it wasn't supposed to happen. That's why it never happened, and that's why we sitting here right now. Mm. The way shit happens, what's meant for you is meant for you. Nah, fact, you can't take it away from me. You feel me? And I, I really live in that. Like Even when I'm having my bad days, like this day is supposed to happen like this. Mm. I'm supposed to learn something from this day. I'm supposed to put this these emotions into music. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to tap in with whatever this feeling is that I'm feeling. I got to tap in. And really embrace it wholeheartedly because this is this is this is a part of my journey. This is part of my process. Mm. I feel like everybody, artists, creatives, businessmen, women, lawyers, doctors, whatever you in, embrace embrace that shit. No nah, facts, man. I appreciate you for pulling up, brother. Man, thank you. Uh, for what, what you got going on right now that we can support you if we can? Like, I mean, rather be is out right now. I just dropped the pro- uh, uh, I was about to say a project. I just dropped a single with Hollywood Cole. Shout out to Hollywood Cole. It's called Rather Be. We just shot the video for that. I'm about to shoot a video tomorrow. I'm dropping a song a month, so right now we got, what, five, six months left of the year. Just, I'm going to make sure I'm in everybody's face. So after they see this interview, it's going to just seem like I'm an industry plan at that point. Like, why the fuck this nigga can't? Yeah. What what did he do with the algorithm? I mean, shit. Try to make love to the algorithm. Canon and uh, like, drama. I mean, that's some. Shout out to Jen now too. Come uh, on, man. Everything <laughs> is well. Listen, what a, I mean, everything is working out, man. We figuring everything is 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 working how it need to work. Yeah, man. Godspeed. We taking uh, our time. Ain't no gonna rushes. Be fire. That's gonna Come be fire, man. man. I appreciate it, man. For the people that don't know, let them know how to follow you and all that good stuff, man. Man, Kai Cash. Don't forget the dollar sign at K A I C A S H on everything streaming platforms. K A I C A dollar sign H. You already know, man. Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Yeah. It's a wrap. We out. That was good. Yeah.